Hi, this is Lily Cotilla. Welcome to Edging Life. This segment is geared toward parents who have recently had a premature baby and or those who know somebody who has, whether they're in the NICU and or having gone home already. Uh, male fetuses survive at approximately 25 weeks. Female fetuses survive at approximately 24 weeks. This has to do with lung maturity well, and levels of testosterone present. But in the case of this video, I'm going to discuss lung maturity. While in utero, fetuses don't breathe air the way that babies or adults do, they are fed all their nutritional value, including oxygen through the umbilical cord via the placenta and the mouth, the nose has plugs and the mouth is filled with amniotic fluid as is the surrounding environment. So technically speaking, the inside and outside of baby or fetus milieu is one and the same. There is no differentiation between inner and outer world. Now when we think of breathing, it's an autonomic nervous system aspect of our existence in that it happens naturally. We don't have to consciously think to ourselves to take a breath for our survival, which is a great thing. When it comes to preemie babies, however, the neurological wiring isn't that enhanced in terms of connecting the mind, the autonomic nervous system aspect of the mind to the breathing through the nose or the buccal cavity, the mouth. So the current hypothesis, or one of them, on um, preemies and or SIDS in general, sudden infant death syndrome, has to do with a baby not being able to pick up its head and move it out of the way of a carbon dioxide bubble that surrounds uh, the nose and the mouth, and ultimately the baby asphyxiates. Um, if it can move its head, that would be ideal. One could put a light oscillating fan to make sure a carbon dioxide bubble doesn't form. That said, we have to be careful of Bell's palsy. Um, if it's not one thing, it's another. But my hypothesis on SIDS and decreasing the onset of it has to do with increasing the neurological connections in the subconscious, unconscious mind of the baby to the nose and mouth. And one way you might do this is by taking your finger and bringing awareness or attention to the baby's nose area and mouth area via somatic sensation or circling or tapping or rubbing such that the mind begins to recognize that these two places are the entry points for life force, for oxygen, for inhale and exhale. Because as stated before, when in utero, there is no demarcation line of existence from inner and outer world. In utero, the fetus is connected to the, the amniotic fluid and the surrounding womb of mother. So I believe that, especially in preemies, the more connections that are made between mind and breath holes of face, the decreased likelihood of SIDS.